Economics is a great source of examples of the use and interpretation of differentials. Let's take a little bit of time, think about some examples in economics. We're going to begin with a brief discussion on an important topic called utility curves. This has to do with considering the trade-off between two different commodities, answering questions like what combinations of quantities of each provide a fixed amount of utility or happiness, if you like. That is kind of hard to quantify, but let's just roll with it for now. This is the notion of a utility curve. So let's draw a curve. Let's work in the plane. Let's work in the xy plane, where x and y are quantities of these two commodities, these two things that I'm talking about. Let's say, I don't know, uh, x could be coffee and y could be donuts, or rather the amount of coffee and the amount of donuts. Now, I like coffee and I kind of like donuts as well, but I kind of like coffee more. I could live without donuts as long as I had coffee, but I might like some donuts too. Now, the idea is that there's some curve in this xy plane that represents a fixed amount of happiness or a fixed amount of utility. I would be just as happy if I gave up some of my donuts in order to get some more coffee. The utility curve keeps track of that. Now, that's what it looks like graphically. What does it mean analytically? Analytically, there's some function u that is constant along this curve. Now, this utility function u is interesting. It depends on two variables, x and y. And what we're doing is we're taking that function, that multivariate function, and setting it equal to a constant. I want you to remember this because this is a great example of something called a level set. And you're going to see that in the future. No, let's just fast forward a bit to the future when you're taking multivariable calculus and you're going to look at functions with two inputs, one output all the time and considering where that function is equal to a constant is going to give you a curve in that plane that's called a level set, which back in this context of economics is a utility curve. Okay, that's our setup. Now, what we really want to do is talk about differentials, talk about a definition, a definition that relates to utility. This is something called the marginal rate of substitution, and it captures the notion of trading off one commodity for another. It specifies the rate at which you would exchange y for x at a fixed utility. The marginal rate of substitution, MRS, xy, is defined to be minus dy divided by dx, where I'm thinking in terms of differentials as infinitesimal changes. This is the meaning or this is the reason why we have that term marginal in there. Pro tip, whenever you see marginal in economics class, it really means differentials. So that's what the marginal rate of substitution is. There's a couple of different ways to interpret this. One, the economics interpretation is, if I change x a little bit, how much does y change? That is, if I want to increase the amount of coffee that I have by a drop, how many crumbs of donut am I willing to give up to exchange for that small increase in the amount of coffee that I have. That's one interpretation. Another interpretation is, of course, it's just the slope of this utility curve at a particular point. Now, we have to be a little bit careful here. There's that minus sign out in front, right? Right, why is that there? Well, that's there in order to make this quantity positive. I'm thinking of exchanging y for x. I want that to be a positive quantity. The way utility curves typically work, you're going to have negative slope in that plane. So economists put a minus sign out in front so that the MRS is positive. Okay, that's it. That's the definition. That's the interpretation. Let's see a simple example. Let's assume that you are given a utility function without worrying about how we come up with that. 
let's say that in this case, u is equal to y squared times x minus 3. You might want to think about what that's saying in terms of your bias of coffee for donuts. To compute the MRS, what we do is we differentiate implicitly, applying that implicit differentiation operator d. That gives us du equals, by the product rule, 2y dy times x minus 3 plus y squared dx. Now remember, this is all in the context of fixed utility. A utility curve where u is equal to a constant. What does that mean about du? That means that du vanishes. It is zero. And we now have an equation that we can solve for the MRS. Minus dy dx is equal to what? Well, I'm going to move that y squared dx to the right. And then I'm going to divide through by 2y times quantity x minus 3 times dx. And I am going to get as the answer minus, uh, let's see, in the numerator, we have minus y squared. In the denominator, we have 2y times quantity x minus 3. A little bit of simplification gives us a final answer of y divided by 2 times quantity x minus 3. That's the marginal rate of substitution. The thing to carry out of this is not details of that definition or of utility curves even. Really, it's just the idea that differentials are useful. They're important. There are so many things in economics that are described as marginals. They all involve taking derivatives. They all involve manipulating differentials.